you know, it can be frustrating. Like, it's one of those games where you your inventory gets full of stuff and <laughs> lots of meandering around and stuff. But it's overall, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's 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 good fun. Well, I, I'm in, I'm interested to see what you think if this is your your type of thing or. Oh God! Not. I thought I just I thought I just uh, leaked your IP. I like covered over your name on screen and it's like a bunch of numbers, but then I it's there's no dots in it. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I was like freaked out for a second. Okay, uh, join I no, just join this. You have to. This is a bizarre way to join a game. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so now I see you. I bring tidings. And then, but it's it doesn't let me. Oh, connect. There we go. It's it's there like any go. other game. Kind of. Yeah, it's just you know pretty standard stuff connecting to a game and playing with your best friend i don't know maybe like if i could be so bold um you, you, you may be bold um <laughs> that's an interesting password I, i'm gonna hit you with that that's an interesting password you like that one i do i didn't know you probably were probably unguessable i would i would imagine you know i think if people were to did you watch nick at night as a kid no do you know what nick at night is um nope do you ever heard of the... Is it a Nickelodeon thing? Yeah, so it was like Nickelodeon at night. They would take off like the kids shows and then they would play like old TV sitcoms like the one that's related right. to the password. Right, right. So like the monsters. The mo yeah, monsters, uh, Mr. Ed, Green Acres. Did you, did you ever... Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. Um, Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island. The Adams Family. Adams Family was in that rotation. My Three Sons. Uh, what about, um, what was that one? Um, um, the Andy Griffith Show. Andy Griffith Show was in there. Nice. Um, there was the Dick Van Dyke Show was on there. Oof. Carol Burnett Show. Right. All, all good wood. All the, all the, all the big shows. Um, but so you didn't watch any of those. Well, you didn't watch them on Nick at Night. I've seen them. I didn't watch them on Nick at Night, though. We didn't get Nick at Night. It was American. You didn't have, um, there, there was lots of, like, still a lot of, like, uh, you know, American, Canadian, like, cultural separations back then. Maybe not so much now. But in the, in the 80s, like, it wasn't super, um, it wasn't as integrated as it is now, I guess. Like, we didn't get MTV, for example. We had a Canadian MTV. Right, called Much Music, right? That's Ooh. the one, yeah. <laughs> and then we had a French one as well for Quebec called Music Plus. Excuse me? So, music, music Plus? Music Plus, yeah. Hey, um, this game should not look like World of Warcraft, right? It should look significantly better. Um, No, it's, it's, it's weird because it's procedurally generated, I think. It's got to look like a bit... You get used to it. It's weird. But like... It, the... it, at first it looks bad, but you you start to realize that parts of it actually look really nice. But it, like it just, the, it... this texture right here. Uh-huh. Does it look like a bump file from Bit uh, Microsoft Paint? It does, yeah. It's an interesting design take. But it's yeah. not about how... You know, if it's about how things look... And yeah, no, I mean, it's... Just wait, like, okay. you see, like, the lighting and stuff? Like, the trees and stuff look nice, don't they? Yeah. But they... when you get close up, the textures are, like, very sort of pixely and stuff. But, huh. I don't know, it, just, it okay. just works. I'm in, I'm in. So you are Hogan. Yes. Uh, There's one of my many characters. I like to have a character per server, you know? Because <laughs> it's, uh, if I was to use one of my other characters, I'd come over with my full inventory, gill ups, everything, right? So. So starting in, like, a fresh new world like this, is it refreshing yeah, or is it, or is it like uh daunting no no it's fine it's okay. like you know it's just, it's just a it's just a, a nice game so you want to pick up like as much stuff as you can because uh, it'll open up crafting opportunities for you so like punch this this tree here Ooh. show it who's boss there you go it's this... like rocky in the meat locker there you go so now you picked up wood you can craft some new stuff so if you hit tab mm-hmm 
you can open up like quick crafting and then once we have a base and a and a woodworking table it'll open up more stuff that we can craft this is cool the, dude this this raspberry looks like a strawberry but it looks delicious yeah yeah you can you can you gotta eat stuff so gather food see these rocks on the ground here dan like where i am mm -hmm. um pick these up you need a couple of them to make a stone hatchet okay stone axe i should say and when you got the stone axe, uh, you can cut down full trees. You could kill animals with it. Like, a well, like, will the tree actually fall? Yeah, yeah. Watch. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll cut down this one here. Hogan. Just chop. Just gonna chop down the whole thing. Ready? Don't let it land on you. It will kill you. Okay. Is there permanent like in real life? <laughs> uh, no, no. You you respawn. See? <laughs> That's cool. You like it? So will that tree for always be knocked down? Yeah. Forever. Yeah. It doesn't respawn. No. That's beautiful. Yeah. Can, you can take the stump out and everything too. That's very exciting. Yeah. And then um, we can gather wood and stuff and we can make a, a cool house. Very cool. So speaking of cool houses, Sips, I like, it's weird, man. I like, and I don't want to sound forward. But I like missed you. I feel like I, I know you took a couple days off, but like when I even did, yeah. when, even when we played Tarkov, which I like playing with you, but we can't you can't talk as much in talk Tarkov. No, I know you gotta you gotta really be switched on in Tarkov, right? And you might be in the middle of like a really awesome conversation. Watch out behind you. Um, here, look, okay, I got an axe. Ooh, Ow. what is that? A Murloc? Like yeah, kind of like the equivalent. Yeah. I'd say it's like a murloc. Um, yeah, when you're in, the, when you're playing Tarkov and you're trying to have like a chat and stuff, you always get interrupted, right? You're like, I hear something. I'm dead. Oh, Sorry. I thought my God, <laughs> you just, I thought you were dead in Valheim. No, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah. If you die in Valheim, it's fine. Like, okay. See this, uh, see this area over here that I'm running to. This is kind of like your, um, it's like your trophy room. So these are all the bosses. And when you when you kill a boss, you you basically hang up a, like a trophy of them on these hooks, and it gives you like a, a power up that you can use. Oh! So like this is the first boss here. He's a big deer. Do you think we we'll be, be able to beat him today? today? We might be able to. Yeah. Okay. Once you only really need a bows, bow and arrows, and that's really easy to make. So. Okay. Yeah, this is Watch cool. Out, there's a there's a boar behind you. Go get him, Dan. All right, let's get him. Go hack him. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, fashion. but you can't eat him, right? You can, yeah, you can get his meat. He drops le leather that you need to make different things. No, but you so can't like, eat him. No, no, I can't eat him. No. Yeah. I mean, you can cook his meat and, and give it to me, though, but. Well, are you, I, your, your character's not gonna be vegan in the game? Hogan's not gonna no, be no, vegan? No, 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 Hogan is gonna be, in fact, I think I'm, because I'm, I'm, well, I'm not even vegan in real life. I'm vegetarian. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I'm vegetarian in real life, when I play games, because it's a fantasy, I like to just exclusively eat only meat. Mm. This game rewards you for eating three different types of food, but you can eat three different types of meat. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to oh. eat tons of meat. This is kind of like, it's got Ultima vibes to it. It does, yeah. yeah. It's got. It, it reminds me a little bit of WoW in some ways too. I think it's just the perspective on your character or something. But yeah. What what is um, this three-eyed raven? Want do I talk to him? Yeah, he's just sort of like the the. He's like your the guide, you know. He's okay. he's. It's not really a tutorial, but he just sort of tells you like you know, what kind of stuff you can do, what's what sort of stuff you should be, you know, angling towards or whatever. This is I'm cool. just gonna try to find some water down here. Because we, we don't need it like to survive or anything, but I, it's just better to build a base closer to water because, like, depending on how long we play later on in the game, mm -hmm. there's certain things that you can only transport like by hand. So, mm -hmm. um, we we might have to go far away to get like you know ore or something like that. And then if we want to bring it back to our base, uh, it's easier to ship it back like on boats rather than walking with it if you know what i mean yeah d this is really cool i'm like i'm in you know what i mean i just i feel this game like i'm feeling it good um okay. i do want to ask you though so i noticed you took a couple days off 
Yeah. Tell me about that. Like, it was you just needed a you needed some sauce. You had to relax. Yeah. No, it was just like oftentimes like I'll do that. You know, like I'll just be, you know, sometimes you're just like in the mood for being switched on and other other times you're not like so like on monday uh it was like it was my kid's last day of um it's like the equivalent of like spring break mm -hmm. sort of thing like they have like what's called half term so they get like a week and a bit off and monday was their last day off so they were like they wanted to do something fun because it was you know like their last day so i was like okay cool yeah like let's go We'll, we'll, we'll go and find some stuff to do. So we went like to town, did some shopping and we went to like the beach and stuff. It was like a full day. So I was just like, okay, fine. And then Tuesday rolled around and I was just like, I just need to like have a rest. <laughs> like yesterday was, was like, it was pretty like full on sort of thing. And I just started watching um, uh, this TV series called True Detective season three. Mm -hmm. um, and um, because the kids were back at school on Tuesday, me and my wife were just like, let's just watch like five episodes of this in a row, like, you know, in our pajamas. And that's how I spent all day Tuesday. It was really nice. Yeah, I mean, it was just like it was just a nice battery recharge, you know? Yeah, because I feel like and I don't know how much is talked about, but when you do dad stuff like it, you know, say like a normal work day drains like, I don't know, a certain percentage of your battery. If you're yeah. like full out doing dad stuff, I mean, it's a, it's like a 2x modifier. It's a great modifier, but like yeah, aren't sure. you spent like if you're real doing like real dad stuff don't you get spent oh, yeah 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 for sure like uh it's it's you know like like you know just playing a game all day is is one thing but like i don't know like you you feel like a bit more like you have to be sort of switched on i guess when you're streaming and stuff and it's just i don't know it's like very very occasionally i'll just think like I just need a day off. Like I don't take that many days off or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna take a day to spend all day not speaking, oh. <laughs> and uh, and just uh, picking my nose and my butt and all the other things that I can't really uh, always fully get away with while I'm streaming. Is there anything? No, I mean I do pick my butt and nose like quite a bit on stream. You know. Is I'm there? Have to do it in, in private. Is there anything that indicated to you like, hey, like I need a day off of? doing my show oh sorry i didn't know where i was gonna fall sorry sorry you're fine you're fine hey look somebody's like old abandoned shack is back here look at this Ooh. somebody used to live here now who knows where they are um quite long man is asking if dan's an approved stream yeah dan has been an approved stream for some time now what's an approved I have this stream thing on my stream where uh when i log off um and I say goodbye to everybody, like for the day or whatever. I say, have a good day, but make sure you don't watch any other streams because <laughs> um, that makes you a traitor. And uh, you can only watch streams that I've approved. And those are usually just like my friends or whatever. Um, but we added you to the approved stream list. So. Oh, OK. Because what was happening was I'd say to people, don't go watch other streams. And then I would have like a stream on in the background while I was playing Hearthstone or whatever. And I would see people from my chat in there chatting it up and like they weren't they wouldn't expect it. And then I would just type in like, oh, what are you doing here? You traitor and stuff like that. <laughs> and then it just sort of became like a bit of a thing. The approved stream list. <laughs> Do they normally hit you with like uh, a sip scared emote when you, when you catch them in a non approved stream? Yeah, well, I've, I've had all sorts. Sip scared, like pe pe Pepe laugh and pe Monka, Monka shake and some other ones like that. The whole the whole arsenal of. Wait, can I ask you a question on behalf of your chat? Sure. What were you doing in a non approved stream where you saw them in a non approved stream? Hunting down traitors. <laughs> oh, OK, OK, obviously. OK, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you got to. You gotta find them, right? <laughs> um, I just need some stone here, and I can build us a workbench. I'm just we're, I'm clearing out this area because it's kind of nice. See here, this like this little bay. This yeah. could be a nice place for us to bring our boats and and dock, and we could where I'm standing right now, we can start building our house and stuff. It'll be nice, dude. I'm just saying, if like just early, I know I played this game for ten minutes. If you like this game, you would have no life, pajamas. Zelda's type, just lock yourself up for Ultima Online. Like this is 
well, kind of where all my online. You I did? Have, I have played it. Oh, I did. Yeah. I didn't know you played it. I didn't play it like hardcore though. I was I was young when it came out, but I I did play it. I did a lot of fishing in it. I remember. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I I can appreciate some Ultima Online. I have played it. Okay. But I, uh, I didn't play it, like, as seriously as I would have played, say, WoW or something. Got like, it. Spent a lot of time playing WoW. Did you play a lot of WoW? Um, I played through the end of Burning Crusade. I tried to get a full emerald suit of armor. Like, right. I used to be a teacher, so I would teach... And then I would come home I, and I'd go, I lived with my mom, went in the basement. And then I would like no life wow from like 3.30 or 4 whenever football was over until like 10. And then I'd right. go, go the next day teach. And then I would wonder, do, are any of my students also playing wow? Because this is like when wow was yeah, new, sure. you know? Yeah. But, but And then after Burning Crusade, then I was kind of out. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's a weird one with wow. I think a lot of people kind of... Uh, like, well, I think Wrath of Lich King, like, uh, which was after the Burning Crusade, was the was the big one. But and then I think a lot of people stopped playing after that, or at least a lot of people I knew stopped playing after that. Why uh, do you think that is? Did, I I don't know. I think maybe it just been out long enough. Or uh, Wrath of Lich King was uh, actually a really good expansion, but then Cataclysm, which came after, it was not so good. Wasn't Cataclysm? They just took the old world and made it fiery, like. Or is that, am I thinking yeah, something they, else? Yeah, they tried to. In, in, in parts, it worked. It was pretty good. And then uh, in, in other ways, it just wasn't wasn't as good. Yeah, I don't know. It was uh, it was, it was an odd one. But yeah, I, I, I played, I didn't play as much in Catal Cataclysm, actually. But I came back and played for an expansion after that, which was, I think, Mr. Pandaria. I played that one quite that was a bit. The, that was the Panda one, right? And then after Mr. Pa yeah, Mr. Pandaria, after that one was Warlords, was it? Was it Warlords of Draenor? I think. Mm. I mean, can you just look behind you at your poster with the um, World of Warcraft yeah, the lineage? One, the, the poster behind me um, is from, I think, Mr. Pandaria. Like, it was, it's a picture of Gromash Hellscream <laughs> from mists of pandaria that that era you know I, I don't I, know if that means much to you it doesn't but i'll tell you what i watched <laughs> you for a couple minutes on drop frames oh nice and but i got to see an extended webcam picture which i saw some of your shelf which i was like zooming in on looking for all oh, right you're trinkets trying to, trying to trying to figure me out trying to well, see I was seeing what i've seen what other blizzard stuff you had on your shelf I, there's quite a bit of like I mean I went to a couple of BlizzCons and I was like you know Sips, I was, a I couple a every single one lifetime legacy pass or you're just gonna say a couple no no I went to like I went to a fair few but not that not as many as you're insinuating here hey real quick can you what is this a little like uh tree stand that you built here no see there's a workbench at the back here Mm -hmm. But it's weird in this game. There's like a mechanic whereby some of these things need to have roofs fully over them before they can work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what you can do is you can click on this workbench and see like the menu that opens up. Yeah. It's like a crafting menu. To the left of that, there's a little hammer. Mm -hmm. You could just spam click that and it'll repair all of your stuff. So oh. Like, you have a stone. Yeah. That's great Any, quality of that life. You can craft at this table, you can repair there. Later on, when we have like metal stuff, like made of bronze or whatever. We need to use like a forge, which is another crafting table to repair that stuff there. But for now, you can repair everything here. Wow. This is like, this is your kind of game too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wait, it's getting dark. Can we start a fire or something? Yeah, yeah. We need, uh, I need some stones. Do you have five stones on you? I have two stone. Is there like a box I can put them in or just, do I just throw them on the ground? You can just drag them out of your inventory and it'll chuck them on the ground. I'll just, cool. um, I'll see if I can find some over here and then get a fire going you can make beds and stuff too so we can skip the night cool. just like in minecraft yeah um so how was uh drop frames what did you talk i just watched a couple minutes what did you guys talk about uh it's like just all gaming news and stuff um talked a bit about blizzcon talked about um some new games that came out some other stuff N nintendo direct and 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 whatnot some of it i am aware of and some of it not so much like 
I kind of keep up with gaming, but only really the stuff that I'm interested in, you know? Like the Blizzard stuff? Yeah, mostly just mostly just the Blizzard stuff. I just... Because they're redoing D Diablo 2, right? They are, yeah. What was yeah. your reaction to that? Um, I, I mean, I'd heard that that was going to be a thing, like, a oh. while ago, but they just never announced it. Oh, because you'd so been I, in the Blizzard cafeteria and overheard it? That's right, yeah. I was okay. drinking a, um, at the time, I was drinking a Arthas, um... Ale? Stormhelm, uh, special brew. Okay. Uh, from their, from their, from their cafeteria. And I overheard some people talking about how they were going to remaster Diablo 2. So I've been in the know for some time now, but I just couldn't spill the beans. I didn't want to let down the people at Blizzard that I knew sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I wasn't like too surprised, but it looks like it might be okay. I don't know. Uh, Warcraft 3 was uh, remastered and it was it was not very good. They remastered so, Warcraft 3? Yeah, yeah, Warcraft 3 Reforged. Did you not hear about this? I didn't know about that, no. All right. It was um, last year, I think, it came out. People were pretty hyped for it, uh, pretty excited. And um, it came out, and uh, the graphics were not very good, and there was issues with it and stuff. And uh, it it turned out in the end that they they basically just got like some other company to do it like, they just were like yeah here can you just remaster our old game they didn't do a very good job of it and everybody was really disappointed mm. so now now with diablo 2 you can't help but think you know have they learned their lesson are they just going to do that again or or what mm. like they're saying that they're not going to do it again but who knows you know so so, so were you hyped to play warcraft 3 and then you played no, it. No, I wasn't. I oh. wasn't really. I played it when it came out. I liked it. Like, you know, I I played all the Warcrafts like back in the day when they came out. So yeah. Then, like it was just. I used to into, play that into PC gaming like quite quite young sort of thing. So like I knew when stuff was coming out, like Starcraft, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I wasn't really I, like I, I liked it. I wasn't like massively nostalgic for it though, and I I didn't really feel overly like I wanted to just pay to play warcraft 3 again sort of thing mm -hmm. but i think um a lot of people thought Let's that it was going to be a good sort of platform for like custom games and stuff too because like dota was sort mm. of born from warcraft 3 and and whatnot but um controversially as well they had this system whereby they owned all the rights to anything that was going to appear on i guess this was just to avoid like the, the court cases they had with Valve over Dota and stuff. But uh, I, none of that sat well with people, so nobody bothered making any custom games for it. No, it's, I don't think anybody plays it. I think it's just whatever. It's just like kind of dead. Didn't work out. I yeah, remember just, just... playing Warcraft 1, maybe Warcraft 1 or 2 over Dial Up. You, yeah, did you ever I, do that? I did the same. Yeah. yeah I did, yeah. It just Me hits and my a little friend different. used to play uh, like Direct Connect against each other. Yeah. And, um, Occasionally, we used this service called Microsoft Gaming Zone, which was like hmm. a web service where you could do matchmaking for games. Because Battle.net didn't exist back then. No, uh, StarCraft was and, the first one that used it, right? That's what, right, yeah. yeah. And then Diablo 2, after that, used it as well. Um, but yeah, you couldn't use... Um, you, you couldn't matchmake in, um, in Warcraft 2 by default. It, like, the Warcraft 2 Battle.net edition came out years later, but back then like you just had to do direct connect we used to play it all the time we used to just build these stupid bases and like build tons of boats and stuff like we didn't really know what we were doing <laughs> but it was it was fun man i can't find rocks anywhere i want to get this campfire going but i dropped two near the oh there's one i have oh i have enough now okay, okay. Here, let's go where did I set up that um, crafting bench? It's, oh, it's right there. I see. We've already cleared out a lot of these too. I do like, man, this is like a great little peninsula for a home. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Okay, are you ready for some hot campfire action? Yeah. There you go. Ooh. There you go. And I'm going to guess. Wanna yeah, I can cook. cook. You want to cook some of the, those meats? There you go. Look. Shove them on there. Okay, I shoved it. Wait, wait till you hear the sizzle. 
you gotta take them off or they'll burn. <laughs> okay. That's just cool. Yeah. So have nice, pe have people figured this game out all the way? Like like no life didn't got all the bosses? It hasn't been out um, that long. I'm sure people have, yeah. yeah. It hasn't been out that long. It's sold um four million copies already though. That's awesome. Good for them. Five five man dev team that made it. And they've made like over sixty million bucks. What do, you, that, eh? what do you think they're doing right now? <laughs> Man, if that was me, I would be um, drinking pina coladas in like you know somewhere sunny and having <laughs> a having a break for sure. Uh, no, I think I think they're pretty dedicated to like getting more people in and expanding the game. Even though for early access, is it's there's a lot of game like it, you know, it, I, it's it's well worth the money like for early access. You know, it's not buggy, not overly buggy. There's like quite a bit of content and stuff it's pretty good this to me this would be cool if it was if they can expand it to like 100 plus players on a server that could get really interesting i don't know what the max is i think it's 10 10 i think it's cool parent somebody in chat just said the bosses are too easy um do they do they know. resort to I've using the wiki to, to beat it well yeah i mean i i've only done two of them and one of them we cheesed as well mm -hmm. so there's like a there's a method for cheesing him, which was, well, it's fine. Man. All right, so I want to provide some value to our camp. So you said we could make beds. Do I need to find, like, the... Yeah, you just got to chop down some wood. Beds only work... So it's kind of weird. Beds need to be close to a campfire. They don't okay. need to be right next to it, but they have to be within the radius of a campfire to work. Plus, they have to be sheltered as well. So you need to build kind of like what I built there. You'll need to build something similar to that and then put the beds in. But yeah, once you sleep in a bed, it sets that as your spawn point. So if you do die, okay, you'll just spawn back naked at your bed. Got it. So that's cool. So you had a good time on drop frames. Anything else like super noteworthy that you're like, oh, this was a good game to talk about? Um, there was this one game that looked fun called Nuts, which I bought <laughs> like during drop frames just because it looks funny it's like you gotta like set up like uh cameras and stuff to uh monitor squirrels okay but it's kind of like a puzzle game but it, it it just looks really interesting it looks fun um and it was on sale so i was like i'll pick that up and try it out it's like up my street sort of thing did you give it a, uh, a go on stream no not yet i haven't tried it yet oh, okay i just picked it up because i knew i'd forget about it if i didn't so i thought oh, i'll just grab it and then at least i'll hopefully remember buying it and then <laughs> get around to playing it at some point. Do you ever buy a game thinking that you're going to play it and then you never get around to playing it? Star Wars Squadrons was the last one. <laughs> nice. I didn't even buy that. I, I meant to play it, but I... That's, that's one of those games like you buy and you're like, yeah, I want to play this one day. And like you genuinely want to play it and then you just don't. You know? Yeah. It looks fun. Yeah. It's meant to be not bad, actually. Um... But yeah, no, I just never, I never grabbed it. I, I bought Cyberpunk. I still haven't played it. <laughs> Is that like, do you ever play long form games like that on your stream? Like to completion? Sometimes, yeah, it depends. Like I played uh, GTA 5, I did a really long playthrough of uh, the single player like story mode. Mm -hmm. And uh, Red Dead 2, I did as well. Skyrim, I played. Fallout 4. Yeah, so I, yeah, fair few, yeah. I could long, see you being a running games, yeah. Well, I've seen some of your Skyrim stuff, but I was gonna say, even without knowing that, you seem like a Skyrim guy. Yeah, Skyrim was good fun. I um, when I did Sky, I I played Skyrim early on, on YouTube. I had like a long series mm -hmm. that I never finished, and then when I started streaming uh, full time, I picked it up again. But I got some mods for it. Mm -hmm. I got this mod called Blackthorn, and it's amazing. It was so good. There's like this. In between, like, you know, like the, uh, is it Rif Rifkin, Riv 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 Riven, or, the, you know, like where the Thieves Guild is underneath it? Did you play Skyrim? I, I spent, I played <laughs> Skyrim for five hours and four of it was oh, in the okay. character creation. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so in, on the map, there's, there's basically this area that's kind of like, there's nothing there. It's in between some, like, bigger towns or whatever, but it's just fields and nothing. So this guy created this mod called Blackthorn, which is basically like uh, adds a new town in between in this in this field. 
but it's desolate. There's nothing. It's just like it's been burnt down. It was like pillaged or whatever, but you have to rebuild it. So you have to go out and, and get money and collect resources and stuff and then rebuild this town building by building. And there's so there's like a blacksmith, uh, there's like a hunter, there's a tax office, there's like all this stuff and it takes you forever to build it back up. But as stuff gets built back up, <clears throat> you get all sorts of like passive income from it. Ooh. You collect taxes from the people that live there and stuff. And in the end, you just become like this sort of like mayor of this town. Um, but there's like the house that you build is like a is like it's like a mansion <laughs> that you build for yourself. It's all like pre you know generated or whatever. Uh, you just sort of upgrade it as you go. But you can you can have like all these armor racks in the basement. There's like trophy rooms and stuff. So in the end, I pretty much a hundred percent of the game because I had all of this like momentum behind me to do it because I wanted to fill up my trophy room <laughs> and I wanted to get all the armor sets and stuff. Oh man, it was so much fun. I loved it. It sounds like the mod was better than the actual game. I Not that the game was bad. Day, all day for like two months straight. It was nuts. <laughs> That's all I streamed. But it was glorious. I loved it. Was um could you modify how much you tax people or was it preset? Uh no it's preset but okay. it was like super super op like the amount of money that you got from it was just like insane when you rolled into like, town like towards the end of whatever all the npcs just kind of like bend the knee to you because you were the, the man kind of yeah um most like mostly when you ran back into town you were so over encumbered but with crap <laughs> um because you like part of like the passives were like you know you you pick up the lumber mill would generate lumber that you'd then have to like take over to the blacksmith to turn into something else that you could sell for money or whatever. So you just ended up spending a lot of time running between houses, limping there because you had so much crap <laughs> on you. Um, and it was nice. Nah, it was good though. It's really fun. If you ever play Skyrim again, that is a great mod. It's Blackthorn. Really Blackthorn, yeah. It's uh, the way you made it sound. It sounds like cool. Like it gives you like an extra purpose in Skyrim. Because I would just yeah. a game like that. I wander a lot. Like do you wander in games like that? Or oh you have... God, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of wandering in Skyrim for sure. Ah, it's good fun. Like it's part of the game. But um, at the same time, like sometimes having a bit of structure is pretty good too, right? Yeah. So like right now we're working towards Let's... something. Ooh. Yeah, I'm building a dock out here. Okay. For when we eventually get a ship, which we're not nowhere close to getting, but you know, just in case. Just in case something crazy happens and all of a sudden we find ourselves with a, a boat. Oh, this is cool. You need a safe place to unload that boat. Can you make this dock however you want? Yeah. So you can make yeah, like there's all sorts of Have you seen have you looked at the building stuff yet? Um, I have to you go need to inside. Make a hammer. Oh. Yeah, make a hammer, and then when you equip the hammer, you right click. There's like building, crafting, miscellaneous stuff, and there, there's all sorts of like pieces that you can mess around with buildings. And you can't you can't hit rocks off other rocks. You just have to find them. Uh, no, yeah, no. You'll get a pickaxe eventually, and and you can smash up these rocks. Okay. But no, you can't do it just yet. Okay. And then suddenly a big dock and a big boat. Yeah, that's a, that's exactly it. Chad. That's what we're aiming for. That's man, I I love that when you have like a good, good to great memory of a game, and it just brings back like, you know, like just an enjoyable yeah. time. Because not yeah, every game sure. does that, but the ones that no. do, you remember. For example, like uh, when I think back to Overwatch, um, <laughs> I don't have like a, any real fond mem. I died. How'd you I got die? attacked by some some boars killed me. <laughs> do do they, boars they, they really killed they do, really killed me. Do you have to like upset them for them to attack you or will they just attack you normally? Um yeah, no, like if you if you sort of like get in their way, um they they'll attack you. Um one of uh, them was like a one star boar, which is kinda like Imagine, uh, imagine like a room full of generals and then General Patton comes in, you know, like the best general, maybe. Um, that's, that was him. He was, it was like three boars and then like, you know, four boars in one. 
on top of those three other ones. So I went like that. I, I'm not saying it, I did it, but I'm not saying I went to a family of boars and hit every one of them, including the general, and then ran from them. So I, I'm sorry okay, for nice. that. Did you kill them? Um, I just kind of hid in that little Jaeger's house that we found, but I, I killed right, a couple. Okay. okay, good. Yeah, they drop valuable stuff. Oh. Feathers. Yeah, I've just seen the uh, the rest of the family is still here. Try to get to my to my body. You got a you got a corpse run in this. So when you die, you can go back and pick up your stuff. You leave behind like a little tombstone. Mm -hmm. If you die again, do you lose the stuff? Uh, no. You can always pick it back up. You just have to be able to get back to it to pick it up. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, do you have the music turned on in this game? Yes, it's I, very repetitive. <laughs> oh, I, I would say I like it, but I also haven't. It, been I do like it yeah. as well, but your your chat might start to complain at some point. <laughs> All right, so I have okay. Now I have the hammer. Now I can see what you're talking about. Oh, you can yeah, make see, doors. Can, oh yeah, yeah. We can make a we'll we'll make a a big house. That's store true. all of our stuff in there and sleep in there and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. This is really cool. It's not bad, eh? Yeah. Twenty bucks too. Is that how much this game was? Yeah. Seems like there's some value here. Tips. I'm that's, just I'm just amazed at all these. Bad. Yeah. Just loving all these recipes sliding in. And to do yeah. that, you need to go to the workbench, right? How do you um, make that yeah. stuff? Workbench. Yeah, some of it's workbench. Some of it might just be like, you know, building stuff that you do like with the hammer or whatever. Like it just it just depends. So. OK, so all those recipes, I don't like uh, I saw like a thatched roof and stuff like that. Oh, it says, yeah, right. That's all build stuff. Right. Click you, with like the with hammer. hammer. Yeah. And then you uh, if you spin your mouse wheel, that'll like rotate stuff, too. So like. You gotta use the hammer to build like the like the workbench in the first place sort of thing. And then all the like little roofs and stuff that I put around it. Oops. Oh, okay. Right click with the hammer. I got you. Cooking. This is cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Eh? To put my rag tunic back on. We don't, we're not even wearing pants right now. <laughs> <clears throat> We've just got tunics on. That's it. You know what this music sounds like, and I don't know if your kids ever watched it. Um, there's a green turtle called Franklin. That's what this music sounds like. It's like Franklin music. I, I'm aware of Franklin, but my kids have never watched mm. Franklin. It's I don't, uh, know, I don't know why, but it's very relaxing. Are you building the the sleeping hut? I'm just extending a wall. Okay. Well, I f oh, I forgot, Sips. You are very particular about your civil engineering. No, no, no. You, you, you go for it. I want you to to build some stuff. I won't bulldoze anything this time. I promise. <laughs> I've this heard that no, before, though. This is a no bulldoze zone. But it can snap together. This is really cool. Five people made this game. Yeah. It's impressive. It's pretty good, eh? Can you, how can I remove this one? Uh, if you middle mouse click, so like with, with the hammer equipped, there you go. Okay. You get cool. all the materials back. As oh, well. it's yeah. a great deal. It's not bad. Eh? I feel like this is right up your alley. Oh yeah. Look at this. I've got a hoe. I can do some real bulldozing. I won't bulldoze anything that you build though. I promise. You can. That's okay. I'm going to flatten it out. It's a little bit easier for us to build. So Sips, did you find after you took the, those couple days off, did you come back? Like, were you on whatever day you came back, were you like juiced up and ready to go and like creative or just you just needed it? No, no, it's just like just caught up on like some sleep and some rest and stuff. And it was fun. Some dad stuff. Yeah, it was good. I don't know what the point of this channel is, but. I could see you like burn hours in this game and don't even realize it. Mm hmm. Yeah, very much so. It is like that. 
I'll level this out here if you want to build like a bunkhouse or something over here. Just remember though, you've got to have a fire close to the beds. Okay. It, it doesn't need to be inside though. It can be outside if you want, but um, like what I normally do, like in the one that in the in the playthrough I was doing the solo one, I have this big house, but I had a fire pit in the middle with like a chimney. Cause see the smoke coming out of the fire. Yeah. It can see if it's inside and there's no ventilation, <laughs> it'll suffocate you. It's it's amazing. It's like it's all it's a mechanic. So you, you have to build kind of like a, a fireplace and, and, and funnel the, the smoke out of your house. It's really good. Got it. Okay. So like on the roof, you have to have like open bits for the smoke to escape from and everything. It's really good. Okay. So let me, I'll build us a place to sleep and it's got to be relatively close, right? Yeah. Okay. Just build it like over here. Perfect. If if I'm building something you don't like, just tell me, Sips. No, no, no. These um, see these these walls though. I think this is the inside bit. You might have to like rotate them. That's the inside bit. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I might be wrong actually, but does it matter? Can we, can we aesthetically? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it actually matters. Like it doesn't make it. Like I don't think if somebody attacks you, like. It's not like rust or anything, right? Is it mildly like... <laughs> Dan is so nervous about doing the building. Right? I am! <laughs> like such a bully. <laughs> I am. You're like, hey, you're not putting the fence in properly. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know what, Sips? Can you build better, please? God. <laughs> I'm, just jo I'm just joking. But see, I well, like... This is good. It's like the aesthetic, you know? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be our bed quarters, Sips. Okay. So you have how many of these playthroughs going on? Uh, this is my fourth, I think, now. Okay. <laughs> my, my solo one, I'm probably the furth furthest along with. Like, the one with Ryan and Malph, we've only played twice. Like, we've, we've, we've made some good progress sort of thing. I've been playing with my other friends, that, these guys called Hat Films. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Mm -mm. Um, and we're a little bit further. Actually, we're probably furthest along in that one now. But they have... Um, one of their girlfriends is like behind the scenes, like gathering tons of materials and stuff for us to like take some of the tedium out of it. <laughs> Pretty funny. And um, yeah, and then my solo one, I've just been playing for the, the past couple of days. It's been, it's been nice. It's nice and chill. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Sam, Sam, I want your honest opinion. It's what like do you a think? Capsule hotel. <laughs> it's like. We're in like in, in in like feudal Japan right now. This is where this is where like <laughs> capsule capsule sleeping started. But oh. it's just a start. I'll work. I mean, look, the beds won't work. Look, it says bed needs a roof. I don't know if these floorboards. It doesn't count as count. roof. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. They don't seem to. You might have to get some thatch. Oh, what is this? That's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. I will. Um, I'll fix this. Zips, you gotta trust me to fix it. Okay, no, I'm. I trust you. I I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna make it right. I know that you. I know you got this. All right. Um, what else do we need to do? Some All right. Better tools and stuff. I got some flint. I can probably make a flint axe. So once we have these beds, right? Yeah. Then what should we work on? Um, after the beds, um, we can make some storage chests because we're going to end up with a lot of stuff in our inventory that we'll want to get rid of. Okay. Um, we can start knocking down this old house. Actually, I'll start doing that now. Okay. This doesn't need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite job, bulldozing. I'm learning a lot about degrees here. I'm getting like 26 degrees. Yeah. Like all this thatch stuff, you know? Yeah. Thatch roof. Corner. I feel like I'm missing something. Is there something have to be underneath a roof to... To, uh... <laughs> you can do like, um... Make you can wall. do like beams if you want. Ah. Uh. Like a, a post. But no, the roofs should just go on here. Like, you just like, like rotate this. them around. 
<laughs> no, no, you like on the side. Look, see? You get these bits here. You can just do these. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks for the wood. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to make this a fit for a king. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you know any kings that would like to <laughs> stay at a, at a place such as this? Well, kings that don't know their kings yet. They're the ones that are like slumming it and cheating on their wives, right? Like they would come to a place like this. No, I think this is more like we're squires right now. We have, we're squires, then we have to become knights, and right. then we have to become kings. Full kings, right. Well, actually, right now we're pages. I actually just read a book on uh, knights to uh right. my, my son and it's you they start as pages you start as a page first you started as a page a yeah. page boy and then you become a squire right and then you become a squire and then and then uh, you you squire for a knight who then could train you to yourself become a knight exactly and exactly. then you become a lord of the realm there you go you and get then it you could become unking <laughs> Well, there's beam, dude. If you were like, imagine if you were into construction or engineering, this would be your game. I mean, I am in 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 construction and engineering. You are, huh? In my dreams, yeah. Yes. You think if you didn't go programming, what would have been your backup profession? If you could. Oh, c construction engineering for sure. For like, what? No, I'm what, just joking. No, I probably just like no. I probably just work at like a grocery store or something. Doing what? I don't know, like stocking the shelves, okay. packing people's bags, you know, helping them out to their cars or whatever. You know, the fun stuff. Yeah. Do you ever work at a grocery store? Um, I worked at. <laughs> 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 Come on, this is good. How is this happening? <laughs> what? Why are you using like the peak bits? <laughs> Cause that's a roof. <laughs> I guess. I mean, let's see if they work. Hold on, get off. That is too exposed. We can fix that. We can fix this. <laughs> Hold on, I got. Does this work? Oh, it works. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, hold on one sec. Hold on, give me one sec. Hey, Sips, you there? Yeah, I'm here, yeah. I know it Did seems like... Me? No, no, I know it seems like I have tech, tech problems. Do you, what bit rate do you stream at? Um, Right now, uh, like, uh, like, like 7K, 6, 7K, I guess, or so. I think I'd set to 8. I, I think Twitch caps you, though. I'm not sure what the cap is. Why? What's your, what bit rate do you stream at? Uh, I just bumped it to... Um... Six, I was streaming at 5,000. I just bumped it to 6,000. Right. And um, I thought it was better, but I'm getting raviolis. Raviolis? Just, yeah, raviolis is like when when uh, your Twitch stream stutters. Oh, right, right. You ready to sleep? Yeah, but my, my bed's exposed. I got I to gotta put a little, little wall <laughs> in work first. work on it still. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, get the, a little wall in there. I don't know if I've ever had any raviolis. I think, uh, I, 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 actually, speaking of Skyrim, I think that's one game where the bitrate was was not great. But I think it was more to do with Skyrim and less to do with anything else. Let me see if this works. That is too exposed. What do you think that means? It means that you need to, I think you need some wall on the side. Okay. You gotta, like, close it off a bit. You know, you can... They have like mini thatch? I'm not, I'm not criticizing the build. I think it's good. I think you've done a really good job, but... But? You... You could make the roof higher, you know, like... 
Two yeah, but, more headroom? But we're just pages right now. We 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 haven't deserved oh, right. that. I see, I see. Okay, so the so the 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 digs will upgrade. I see you going to bed. That's nice. That's there we nice. go. So like as we become squires, then we get to upgrade. Right, right. I like that. It gives us something to work towards, right? Yeah, for sure. What do you think is a realistic um goal for us today? A realist way we can probably beat the first boss. Okay. We're not like massive massively far away from doing that. Um look, are you gonna put a chest here? Okay. I'm gonna put a chest right here. Um inside this chest, put all of your like leather scraps. Okay. Okay. And then um once we have enough, so you get those by killing boars. Okay. Once we get enough, uh, I can make us some bows. Ooh. And we can make some arrows with some wood. And then uh, that, and then we're pretty much ready to go. Sounds we can amazing. Kill some deer, get some leather gear crafted, and then we can go beat the first boss. We just got to find where his altar is, and then we're ready to go. So we need to go boar hunting. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Should we do it together? Yeah. I just found some boar here. If you want to. Okay. All right. Oh, if you press press M. Mm -hmm. And uh, see at the bottom right, it says visible to other players. Just click that. Oh. And then I'll be able to see you on the map. Okay. You should be able to see me on the map as well. You are using your axe to fight. Yes. Okay. Yes. Your health bar is like 65%. Yeah, I know. I'm just eating some uh, berries and stuff right now. Did we I said traps. Me? No, there's no, there's no, there's like spikes that you can like line the base with. But no, there's no like animal traps or anything. There's some boars just ahead here though. Huh? Here comes one right now. Nice. Nice. Good shot. Maintain the DPS. Very nice. Well done. I wonder if there's another one back over here actually. I wonder if they got this from Ironforge starting quest number three. Yeah, I think they did. You know, I. I, I like to think that that was the inspiration <laughs> for the game. Did you ever, what was your alt? So I know you're a human paladin. Did you ever have any alties? Uh, yeah, I had a, I, I played horde side for a while. I had an orc hunter, I had an undead rogue. I had an, un, a uh, blood elf, blood elf priest, shadow priest, which I, I played quite a bit on. Um, yeah, I had a, whole, a bunch of alts. I mean, I played that game a lot. I had lots of alts. Human warrior. What do you think your slash played is? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Tons. Would you, it's my most played game by far. It would, has to be. Would you ever do that on stream? Show your slash played? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, if I could be bothered resubscribing and <laughs> logging in. If you had sure. to guess. Um... God, I don't even know. I have no idea how much I played. Tons, though. Like, like one month? It'll say one month? Days and days and days worth. Oh, more than that. It has to be. One real-life month you played more of? Oh, yeah. Easily. I mean, I played it for years. Like, through multiple expansions, everything, right? Like, you think and, you... uh, and for at least, like, seven of the first years of World of Warcraft, I didn't have kids either. So, uh... I had fucking tons of free time to play it. <laughs> now not so much but you know so it goes you think you ever go uh back in a while with one of your kids you th or you don't think they'll show interest uh, son started playing it I, i'd probably play with him sure yeah. it's a bit different in in those terms right yeah because you're just doing it like it's dad stuff for something to do yeah it's yeah. like dad stuff right you don't really mind what you do um but like just to go in and play by myself now i think i'm i think i'm done you're I don't good think i'd bother playing again yeah I, there's just there's there's other stuff out i think the appeal of wow back then was that there was just wasn't really anything else like it at that scale either i mean part of the appeal of wow was a lot of the people that i played games with were playing it too so it's you know what i mean it's yeah very very community driven and stuff too what was your guild name Ye old goon squad. Oh, that's right. Oh, is, uh, that's what Yogs means. I didn't know that. There you go. We were first and foremost a WoW guild. 
E old Goon Squad. You ever Goon like Squad is um is from the something awful forums, somethingawful.com forums, which is like a internet community from a long time. It's still around, but it's it's changed a lot. Um, so we were called forum goons back then, <laughs> uh -huh. and so every guild that you made uh, in the name of something awful was goon squad or some, you know, derivative of that. So people would know if they're online, they're like, oh, they're one of yeah. us. And like to, and so to join the forum, it there was there was a huge barrier of entry because you had to pay 10 bucks to become a member. It's a one-time thing. You pay 10 bucks and you become a forum member. Um, but if you were like a jackass or, you know, you just didn't fit in, you could be banned. Uh, so <laughs> it was like, I don't know, it was kind of weird. Uh, but uh, but it, it worked. I mean, I was in a lot of goon guilds, not only for WoW, but like... Guild Wars too. Planet Side, like EVE Online, you name it. Every, you played EVE Online? I played Eve Online, yeah. Didn't know that. I was in I was in Goon Swarm, which was like the um, the Something Awful dot com uh, Eve Online Corporation, <laughs> which was um, kind of kind of um, notorious for uh, be being hated by everybody on the server for trolling and being assholes and stealing and controlling massive amounts of no sex space. Yeah, it was. How long really did you play EVE funny. Online for? Uh, I played it really early on before, because EVE Online's been around forever. Right? Yeah. Like, it, it came out before WoW went into, into like, into public release. So I remember playing that in Planetside um, before WoW came out, I think. Maybe I'm getting confused with the timelines here, but I played it off and on for a couple of years. Like, I, I was never, like, super hardcore into it, but I, I like the idea of it. Uh, you know, base and the final frontier and all that kind of stuff. Did you ever get in any of those massive, like, Excel battles where there's, like, a hundred ships on the screen? Well, no, because it had an object limit back then, so you could never... Even if there was a hundred people there, you wouldn't see them all on screen. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, and it was like a slideshow as well. <laughs> Maybe it's different now, but technology's come a long way. But back then, it was just, like, pretty dumb. I checked out Eve Online last week. Did you? Yeah. Oh, this is this is Patton. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. What a time to twenty in twenty twenty one. You checked out Eve Online. Guess what so the video is. title is called. Right. Is Eve Hold Online up. any good in twenty twenty one? Right. <laughs> um, are you picking up all these leather scraps? I hope you are, because uh, mm -hmm. I've got too much wood on me. Here, I think there's I one six. here too. Leather scraps. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, I think we've got enough to make a What bowl. is this thing? Oh, uh, click on it. It's like, uh, it's just lore. Oh, okay. So you played EVE <laughs> Online. Uh, yeah. what, Planet Side. You never played Guild Wars? What were some of the other ones you played? I played Guild Wars. I played a little bit of Guild Wars. I played a bit of Guild Wars 2 as well. I couldn't really get into it. Um, I played uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Oh, was like that? that? I never played Ultima that. Ultima Online, I played a little bit. Was... Oh, Lord of the Rings Online wasn't too bad. Did you uh, goon squad Ultima? Did or, I what? Did you goon squad Ultima? No. Okay, no. wasn't uh, around. Ultima, when Ultima came out, I was young. It was like 95 or something. I was actually Man, August 96 was the alpha. and they... Ultima Online was so ahead of its time, though. Holy crap, it was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing. I had dial-up modem, like, you know, it was like, I like this, the idea of like this, you know, online persistent world or whatever, but. Were you in the beta or did you buy it from a retail store? Uh, I bought it retail. I got okay. it for Christmas one year, actually. Here, make sure you get all this, this scrap because I'm overloaded with wood. Did you ask for it or was wood. it a surprise gift? No, no, I asked for it. Like, I, I knew, I knew I, I wanted to play it sort of thing. How did you find out about Ultima Online though? I used to just get like PC gamer kind of magazines, mm. like computer gaming world or whatever. Back in the day, I used to used to get even before I had a PC, I used to read them because I I wanted to see like when for like PC gaming for me when I was a kid, 
I, I never had a good PC, but my friend's dad was uh, an avid, like, war gamer. So he, he always had a better PC than he needed to have mm -hmm. to play these old-ass war, war games that yeah. he used to play all the time. But um, because they had a decent computer, my friend would always get computer games for Christmas. So, like, Monkey Island, uh, Day of the Tent, so like, all the old LucasArts yeah. games. Loom? Do you play Quest, Loom? Space Quest, yeah, Loom, all, all of those. So, like, I, anytime I'd go over to his house, which was, like, more and more because all we wanted to do was play, like, Monkey Island. And he got, like, Monkey Island 2 for his birthday one year. And we played it every day for, like, a month, like, trying to figure it out and finish it and stuff. It was insane. Dude, like, there used to, on day one, there used to be a wicked audio bug for that game. So, like, you, right. you, you could make it, like, 15 minutes in. I mean, this is on, I think, the week it came out. And you had to like mess with your IO stuff on your sound blaster, but you probably didn't have to deal with any of that. No, I didn't. No. It was back in the I think it just just worked. The one game we couldn't get working though when it came out was uh I think it was Wing Commander four or was it three? <laughs> the one the 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 full motion video one that had uh, Mark Hamill in it. Yeah. It was It was like it was like one of the first games that came out on C D ROM and uh, for whatever reason like the he had a CD-ROM drive in Windows 95, and it just like it just wouldn't work. We could not get it to work for. We tried everything, like we were like editing like files and shit. Like <laughs> oh, it was insane. Just could not get it to work. Did you Which ever? Which was uh, unfortunate because we we used to play a lot. We played a lot of Wing Commander 2 and stuff. Like we used to like role play as pilots. Like in his his mom had like an office. She worked at home. She she did like uh, she was an accountant, but like you know she worked at home and looked after the kids and stuff. And uh, so, like in her office, they had their computers and stuff. So we'd arrange the chairs to be like a, like a cockpit in a <laughs> ship, and we were, we were like we were like eight years old. We were like we were like role playing stuff. It was hilarious. PC gaming in the nineties. Yeah, it's like yeah, late eighties, nineties. That was good. <laughs> Did you put on like bike helmets and stuff? Or no, no, it wasn't like that elaborate. But it was one of those like you know when you're a kid, uh, like especially around the PC, like. We'd get home, we'd, we'd, get, we'd go to his house like after school, which was like, you know, three o'clock or whatever. We'd get, we'd, we'd get in and we'd be like, oh shit, yeah, we can just like go straight on the computer, play some Monkey Island or whatever. Yeah. But then like around 4, 4.30, his dad would get home from work. And like his dad, his dad would get home and immediately kick us off the <laughs> computer. Because he'd like, he'd get in, he'd want to have like a, you know, a, like a, a quick like drink or like a smoke or something. And then he'd be like, all right. Off you go. Like, <laughs> oh, come on. I'm playing Monkey Island. He wanted to play his war games. So, like, we're constantly, like, trying to find, like, maximizing time where we could play, like, when he wasn't home and stuff like that. It was fun. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's... I don't know. I always think about, like, nostalgia like that. And just I just feel lucky that I have some of those memories, you know? Of oh, yeah. One time I was playing... So we, my dad was like one of those guys that had, you know, he was into computers before, you know, he's like probably like your dad's friend, except he's just, right, right. he played, we played a lot of like adventure games together, but he got right. wing commander, the first one, and we had a, a flight stick and I'll never forget it. I was like, however old I was pretty young. I woke up really early in the morning, type in C colon slash WC and then type in WC.exe. And then I started playing it with the flight stick. And it was like a oh, cheap nice. flight stick and yeah, yeah. and it was really early so no one in my house was awake and i kept mashing the buttons and i mashed it so much the flight stick started to smoke oh, <laughs> so i didn't know okay. what to do like i couldn't wake my dad up be like hey like i broke your joystick and i didn't know what to do i didn't know if it was like a feature of the game or something but the joystick had shorted out so instead of like you know getting help i just hit the power button like I turn, you know how the PC you just turned it off back in the day. Yeah. And uh, then my my dad went to play later that <laughs> that evening, and it was like corrupted. He's like, "Did you do something to the the wing commander?" I'm like, uh, "I just turned it off." But so I learned it at an early age. You don't just so good. you don't just turn the computer off. <laughs> did you ever play? Uh, did you ever play X Wing or Tie Fighter? Yeah, X Wing out? and Tie Fighter. Yeah. Really good, yeah. Those are great. And PC gaming was was good even back then. Yeah, it was, it was so good. I, I remember X Wing had a, a mission editor. You could make your own missions. Like it came bundled with a mission editor, and it was really fun. We used to make our 
we used to have all these stories and stuff. We'd make up like, our own missions and like fly them and stuff. Oh man, it was so good. TIE Fighter was really fun too, actually. Yeah. Um, you got a bow now, Dan. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I made you some arrows. There's some more arrows in this chest here. Wait, how did so it basically how did my bow get on my body? Uh I threw it on the ground and oh. you were standing right there and it just picked it up like okay. Minecraft style. So now we can uh kill boars even easier than before and uh we want to kill deer as well okay. we need to kill deer to collect their heads which are like trophies to summon the first boss but also they drop uh, deer hides that we can use to make uh some pants a helmet how uh, did you find tunic how did you find that you needed deer heads to summon the first boss is there some lore or did you wiki it no i have like 20 wikis open right now okay yeah i've got i've got two wikis open on my phone just for like quick <laughs> reference and then i have like eight more wikis open on my uh on my fourth <laughs> monitor on my computer oh i see nice shot thanks there so now we have uh even more stuff that we can that we can use to to build crap with i think we probably talked about this but i want to ask and do you think that the world is ready for a new MMO or you think MMOs are dead for a while? I'm ready for a new MMO. I just hope that they make uh, Star Wars Galaxies again, oh. but make it like it originally was before Jump to Lightspeed. Uh, that's all I, I would, I would happily play a game that was set in the Star Wars universe that didn't feel the need to crowbar in a bunch of like story that I didn't care about or cutscenes or whatever just an open world that have that has player housing and that I can travel to other player houses and see what stuff they're doing with a massive crafting system a player economy all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. I would play the crap out of that I'm glad you say that because like I'm I would know life in MMO if I had people to play it with and it was like you talk it was like a real MMO not a yeah. theme park. What, what's your thoughts on full loot, like PVP? I don't care too much for PVP. I wouldn't like seek it out. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd like to have the option to not. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, though, I would love it if um, instead of engaging in PVP myself, I could um, sort of facilitate people's PVP through a player economy. You know what I mean? It would be cool if, it, like, you know, for example, like, in a Tarkov, you know, like, in Tarkov, you gear up and you go out and you fight people, and sometimes you take all their shit, and sometimes they take all your stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I would love it if there was, like, a crafting system um, not similar to Tarkov's, but, like, say something like in Star Wars Galaxy, where I could craft a whole bunch of stuff and sell it to people who are doing that. And that's how Star Wars Galaxies worked, right? Like, you were constantly making clothing food for buffs whatever for people who were off doing this stuff i didn't want to do it i just wanted to like you know craft stuff and make money and and whatever that was like what i was interested in doing and i love that the game just so um fully facilitated that you know yeah like there was i don't a, think i've ever played an mmo like it there was a need for your role in the game like the fighters yeah. didn't have time to make your buffs or didn't have the desire to yeah. So you became the buff master. That's exactly it. Because it's like, you know, like these guys were off trying to become Jedis. And, you know, they, they didn't want to just sit in their houses crafting stuff. You know, <laughs> there was other stuff they had to do to do more of the stuff they wanted to do. They had to raid the, like, Karelian cor Corvette. They had to fight Rancors, like, in the desert and stuff like that. And... For them to do all that stuff they needed people like me to craft stuff for them and and whatnot right yeah and uh and i love that i i love i love that there is like this huge community sort of like integration of all of these different roles and stuff it was just it was just really cool i, I liked it a lot if and then um after wow came out they they did that expansion the jump to light speed expansion which introduced like ships and stuff but they also introduced this this quest system. So all, all of a sudden there was like all these exclamation marks above everybody's <laughs> head. They gave you quests and stuff. And it was just, it just wasn't the same game anymore. You know, like they strayed so far from what it originally was. It was a real shame. 
So but yeah, if they, if they came out with something more like that, uh, like really detailed, like, you know, lots of different things you could craft, really intricate player economy and stuff like that, I would play it like for sure. When, so when you, what was your specific role when you played Galaxies? What did you make? I became a Grandmaster Tailor and I used to make bio clothes. Okay. Like, I would, I would, ma I would craft like tunics and stuff, but then I would enchant them with like buffs and I would just sell them for like tons of money. I had this whole setup. I had my house was like a production line basically. Outside of my house, I had vendors that were up and running 24 7, fully stocked. Mm -hmm. So even if I was offline, they were making sales. And I had droids programmed <laughs> running around at spaceports, spamming uh, advertising for my shops as well. <laughs> Coordinates, everything. So so when I was done, I'd, I'd log on, I'd do some crafting, I'd watch some TV or whatever, have some fun, log off. Next day, I'd log in. I, I, I was like a millionaire every, every day. Like, it was how, awesome. How would you get the materials to do the crafting? Uh, some, some of them, you, most of them I just bought in the end. Like okay. I had the skills to, to make more money, like rather than spend, spending time going out to get the materials. So I just buy them in bulk off like contacts that I'd made throughout my time playing it, <laughs> which was awesome. Like you get a wholesale that. deal on yeah, buy. Yeah. yeah. I'd like, yeah. Every week I'd get in touch with like this guy, this Mon Calamari guy. I'd be like, I need more trim. And he'd be like, okay come by i've got like <laughs> tons how much do you need like oh, i need like you know 20 boxes yeah no problem like just come here and it's the usual price okay cool i had like spreadsheets and everything was awesome <laughs> did uh it was so much fun it, if that guy was caravanning that stuff to you yeah could he have gotten struck and down and then dropped like dropped it all or was know, in galaxies i don't think the pvp was was like that i think okay. it was um I don't think you were able to like kill people and like loot them fully sort mm -hmm. of thing. In EVE Online you can do, yeah. do that. Uh, EVE Online has like couriers like that have their own websites and everything set up. So you, you go to the website and you say, I want to transport this amount of stuff from this place to this place. It figures out how many jumps there are, how many jumps are through like uh, zero security sectors and stuff. So like how risky it is. And then it makes you a fee that you then have to like mail to somebody in the game and then they accept your contract and then they're like they just keep you updated as they're transporting it and sometimes they get killed and lose all of your shit <laughs> and then you just get some of your money back it's amazing it's such a such an awesome game in in like in that sense that's what I, annoying no no it's awesome it's really good and that's when i when, yeah when you're out in no sec, there's nothing out there. You can make your own star bases and stuff. And to make star bases, it's a tremendous amount of effort and materials, like and money as well. And you have to ferry it all out there, so, like somehow safely, right? So. But the risk was worth the reward for people that tried to do that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's that. Just, it's just not a game that's on rails, you know. Like, yeah, you know, a game like World, like World of Warcraft, for example. It's completely on rails, you know, even if you like, even with world PVP, if you wanted to raid a town, you can't because like the, the NPCs there are like, they're not even a level. You can't even, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. They'll one shot you in, in, in the name of keeping people happy. So you're not just ganking people or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a story, there's quests, like there's only certain crafting professions. There's not much like in it, you know, in terms of like being able to craft stuff that people need to make money and stuff. You know what I mean? It's it doesn't matter. If you make like, something, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's very much like do your dungeons, do your raids, experience the content. That's it. You know what I mean? But like a game like Eve and Star Wars Galaxies was more like here's, here's like a big tool set and sandbox. Make your own fun, make your own game. It doesn't matter what you want to do, sort of thing. There was like less rules, Let's I guess. Cool. Yeah. I like that. And that's what I loved about if I boil Ultima Online down to one thing why I liked it is that like you could take out the city guards. It wasn't easy. You could do it, but I always knew when I left the city, like my my blood would pump a little bit harder because like you're outside of protection and there's like an inherent risk in doing that when I feel like most yeah. the only game to me and we've talked about 100 times that does that is Tarkov like there's a danger when you leave the city and but there's a oh, risk yeah. to do it and a reward to do it 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like I was saying like to chat earlier, because like with Tarkov, it's one of those games that like so, some people just don't want to play a game like that, right? Yeah. They don't want to lose stuff. They don't want to. So like you're you're playing it and they're like how like i watch you play this and i like watching you play this but i can't play this game myself like it would it, 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 it's too much you know like it would like i'd be too scared of like losing stuff or i'd be too scared of just getting headshot out of nowhere <laughs> or whatever and um it, it's not for everybody but i i, I think that, like that's it's it's so uh it's so um you know um I don't know, satisfying, yeah. fulfilling, satisfying-ish, sort of. Did you ever try Black Desert Online? Yeah. How was yeah, that? I played it kind of recently, actually. It's um, it's it's not it's not terrible. It looks like it should be terrible. Like it's very much. That's a game where you'd spend a lot of time in the character creator. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say it like three that? Three hours in the Skyrim character creator. Don't play Black Desert Online. You will never leave the character creator in that game. Okay. Um, but uh, it's it's interesting. Again, there's a lot of crafting in it. There's a really intricate crafting system. There's uh, player housing. There's like all these like systems for player housing, warehousing goods, like and stuff. Um, but then if you don't want to do any of that, there's like progression, there's like, you know, gear, there's bosses and, and stuff like that. Can I ask some other player uh, housing? Yeah, yeah. Is it instanced or is it in the world? Uh, it's, it's instanced like when you go Bruh. in, you see it in the world though. But like, if you, when you open a door, like, uh, everything just sort of like spawns in after. But yeah, it's like kind of, like, kind of in the world, but it's not out there. It's like you rent apartments for the most part. Mm. So like we can't walk out into the world and say, oh, there's Jimmy Joe's house. We have to. Yeah, well, it'd be like it'd be Jimmy Joe's house, but it might also be like a million other people's oh. place as well at the same time. They're like stacked on top of each other, if you like, you know? Yeah, that's news it's like, me. yeah. So like if you want to world. see like my house, I'd have to like invite you to yeah. it and then, you know, it would load for you sort of thing. So it's yeah, instance, I guess. It's Sips, there's I'm gonna there's gotta be a game that's in development that's player housing that's non instance economy there has to be there's got um, I mean development there has to be I mean this is a big world with player housing yeah but, but this I is mean, not a MMO it's me and you talking dad stuff you know what I mean yeah I know um man Star Star Wars Galaxies used to have proper player housing like you could set up a town because it was just planets like. I just had like a house like on Tatooine, like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. But there was like villages with guilds would have like their own villages and stuff. And it was all out there. You could just stumble upon it. It wasn't like instance or anything. It's really good. It's like, I mean, it'd be like dad craft, but in, in an MMO. Like you could have yeah. a, like a dad craft village, which would be cool. And it's, but it's not just limited to the people playing dad craft. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, what do I need for. Rag pants. Oh, I think we need to do the first upgrade here. Hang on a second. So the first upgrade for this is the. I've played Elite Online. Block. I don't she like the jumping in it. Wood. Let me get a chopping block here. Okay. And then I think we can build some other stuff. But I mean, like if you take Dadcraft for example, that's what would happen. In an MMO that we were talking about, you just give a server, and then what happened? Like you don't you don't know what's gonna happen. You know the dome is gonna pop up. You didn't know those businesses were gonna pop up. You know, you know what I mean? Like no. you just you let people yeah. do what they do. Yeah, I mean, Dadcraft's been really really fun because it, it's a lot of people are just doing different stuff on it too, right? Like Scott's stuff is all different to Jay's stuff, which is all, but they have a good sense for where other people are are going with their stuff too it's like you know like around the dad dome we've got like the town when was the last time you logged in actually because it's changed a lot yeah i'd probably say seven eight days ago? yeah at least a yeah. week it's changed a lot there's a lot of new stuff like scotch made a museum jay made a courthouse um there's there's a there's a ton of new stuff it's really good there's some new people have joined and built some new stuff like it's really good 
Malf's working on the casino still. Oh, nice. It's like, I know you and Ryan and him started working on it, and then you and Ryan just, like, stopped playing, and <laughs> now it's just Malf working on it by himself, crying all day, every day. <laughs> we're, we're providing him blueprints and in-game in theory. flowing into the, the roulette table that he's made out of redstone and stuff. It's, like, really <laughs> elaborate. Um, no, I can't think of any MMOs that have, like, proper player housing. Like, EVE Online is a bit more open, but it's in space. Snoozy. Uh, Ultima Online, I don't even know if it's still a thing. It is, is but it they still... it's, they ruined it. It's not like they took all the good stuff away. Oh, that sucks. And, but they um, are doing a legacy server. Galaxies was um, shut down, but it's apparently... I think, like... So like a fan community or something have started up like a kind of like a like a, a like a legacy server because i don't mm. think sony were, are, were ever going to do it or probably don't have the rights to do it now or something but um i haven't heard much from from that like i remember hearing about it but i don't know if they've got anywhere with it oh. galaxies was so good though i think of, of all the time i played wow uh if Galaxies hadn't been ruined, I would have just played that instead. It was it, honestly, it was so good. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Uh... <laughs> there were two guys on me. I didn't. I didn't oh know if gosh. I could take two at once. There you go. There you go. And maybe one day. I just. I feel like gaming kind of goes in cycles, and I'm just praying for the cycle of like. A non, like you said, Ruby on Rails, non theme park MMO. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm like I'm, I, an open MMO where, you, like, with player housing and just like, just more player driven stuff. Like, I keep saying this about Diablo 2 the remaster as well. It has to have trading in it, because the only reason I played Diablo 2 for so long was for the player economy. Like, the, the only reason you ever did runs and farm stuff was. To get stuff to trade to people for uh, a chance of getting better stuff yourself or whatever you know like it there was a point to it i think diablo 3 would have been the same but they because they launched with the with the real money bunker bow 596 and the itemization in the game was not designed very well to begin with um it was so unpopular that they just closed down the auction house completely, but I don't think they should have. I think they should have taken away the real money auction house because I think it was just a stupid idea to begin with. But I think they should have left the, the just the normal trading auction house. Take away all the soulbound gear. Let people just trade away the stuff that they're not using anymore or stuff that they want to like trade away for profit or whatever. And just let, let, let the players like, you know, play, play the game like uh, the way that they want to play it, not massively on rails being babysat by blizzard you know what i mean like it just it doesn't make any sense to me i think all it's going to take is for one developer to take a chance like just take a chance and then make the game yeah. or or take give the control of the players and i think you'll see a game like that do well and then you'll start to see a bunch of copycats you know oh my god we're in a new biome right now by the okay. way this is like the second biome but it's I don't, we're not like quite ready for it. Like this gray dwarf here will probably kill us. We don't have any armor or anything. Yeah. yeah, just run away if you can. It's good to know it's right there though. New world. I played the new world MMO chat, the, uh, the Amazon one. It was all right. It didn't have any of the stuff I'm talking about though. The crafting system seemed not bad though. Um, but again, it was just, you know, it's, it, 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 it felt like I was playing a, a, an MMO that was designed in like, you know, 2005 or whatever, but it just had like better graphics and stuff. Combat was a little bit different. They had plans to do like open world or free looting, o open PVP, but they changed it. They, they were very, it was a very like, uh, vocal or very well documented thing that they changed it, I think for uh the purpose of giving the game to be more successful which is right you know yeah i mean i get that but i, I mean at the same time like it's good for a game to be successful but 
um, you, you just lose so much along the way. But the, the flip side of that is that you'd have a game like, like say Tarkov. Tarkov's a pretty good example, actually, of a game where the devs will follow their vision um, to the T, right? They're, they're, they're not going to change anything of how they, they think the game should be like. Right. They want to make it more hardcore. They want to make it more punishing, which is fine. Like, I mean, if you played the game, you're, you're kind of used to those elements of it. For new players joining, I don't know if that's the move. But also, like, um, and going far the other way, <clears throat> you don't want to end up with a game that's only played by the ultra hardcore. You know, you have to have some middle ground in there as well. Like, it, your game can't thrive when it's only being played by 1% of the, the player base. But similarly, I don't think your game is, is very good if it's if the player base is completely like uh saturated like beyond you know what i mean it's dumbed down so much that that the mass appeal just the, the game is just I, I don't know you're playing like like wow you're playing just because you you've always played it you know what i mean it, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what they do to the game like you're 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 already invested, right? You're in a guild that you've been in forever and you're raiding and you're just doing the same things over and over and over again, but I don't know. Tell that to Dota. I don't know. Dota's done better at appealing to newer players and stuff, but the problem with Dota isn't Dota. It's just the genre. It's like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think MOBAs are like a, a sought out game mode now for for people you know what i mean not with like stuff like battle royale and what and whatever around you know i think there's just other things that people want to play oh god i'm having some trouble here dan i have three hp gotcha i think um i mean it's like you gotta have the jedis and you gotta have the people that make bio clothing i think so yeah i think i, I think you gotta have enough for both camps like to to feel like they're having a fun time you know what i mean Tarkov risks sort of alienating people that like to just play it the way they play it, right? It, in in favor of just like really hardcore players, you know what I mean? What? And if that's the route they're gonna go down, they're gonna have to do more wipes because the game gets so stale, right? Like yeah. already in tar in Tarkov, uh, when was the last time you got killed by anything that wasn't a vector? Like, you know what I mean? Like it. It it just get it just becomes like that, right? Like everybody goes for the what they think is the best gun, or the the meta gun of the of the wipe. Uh, same loadouts. Like you're you're just you're effectively just trying to kill the same person over and over because everybody just does the same shit. Um, which is which is fine, but it just shows like, it just shows how sort of like stagnated the player base gets, uh, like through that process. Whereas. If they introduced like maybe some new modes or something like that, they would, it would ease newer players into it a little bit better. Like uh, zero to hero mode makes sense. I, I I would play that more than I would just play throwing three million rubles <laughs> down the toilet. Uh, <laughs> What's a zero to hero means? Like what? Yeah, it's just that there's just like some sort of like artificial matchmaking uh, based on your your financials, right? Like, oh. You you queue in against um, you know likely kitted out uh, players you know so like all you can bring in with you is a pistol and a and a vest and you just work your way through the map kill scavs gear up somewhat or whatever and get out or don't you know what I mean like I would prefer to play that than the way it is right now yeah and like. Uh, you know, like you watch some of these streamers that are playing Tarkov, and it's just like I never want to be matched into a game against what? these guys. Cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's cool that you've played ten thousand hours of Tarkov. But please don't be in my game. Like, I actually <laughs> want to have fun. Like, I know it's fun for you to just dominate everything that moves on your screen or whatever. But like, I exist as well, and I would also like to have fun. <laughs> I'm with you. That the the thing about Tarkov though is. Is if you go up what? against one of the sweat lords and you like with the worst gun in the game or one of the worst guns in the game there is still a chance although very small you yeah. could head eyes them and then that sure. feeling is like of course yeah but for the amount of times <laughs> it happens versus the amount of times you encounter those guys it's not worth it yeah. you know yeah 
That's why I don't know, I'm I'm ready for an MMO, man. I really am. Yeah, I feel like I am too. Like again, coming back to Galaxies, I think it struck a good balance between people who wanted to play it one way and people who just wanted to play it another. You know, there was enough in there for different categories of gamers to coexist and enjoy themselves. You know what I mean? Whereas a lot of games nowadays, I don't feel get that or achieve that. That's saying SKS um, pack a cock hat all the way. <laughs> yeah, why not though? Like those are fun fights. Like at the start of a wipe when nobody has money, like those are always like the 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 more fun ones, right? They just feel a bit more balanced and whatever. Chats, I gotta look into it. Their chat saying there's a game. Um, I follow them, Ashes of Creation. I, I I need to look into that a little more. What is that? I've heard of that as well. Chad have mentioned it to me too. Ashes of Creation. I don't know enough about it to. Uh, Speak on it. Give me one sec. Chad, I, I like Black Desert Online. I played it quite a bit, actually. Um, uh, one thing that I, I liked about Black Desert Online that I, I really wanted to it to work, but I, I don't think it ever would, was um, I wanted to collect all of like the, the gear sets for my character, but without spending real money on it. I wanted to like make enough in-game money through trading or whatever to be able to like to 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 finance like these sets and stuff but you just can't do it nobody sells them because you have to pay real money for them in the first place in what game uh this black desert online oh it's totally possible yeah but you have to snipe the auction house because they there's buy orders on that stuff like months worth because again the only way to get those items is to pay for them you have to spend money on them so but i don't it's a, such a weird thing that somebody would pay like say 30 bucks for a set to then just list it on the auction house for like whatever in-game gold like it doesn't make sense right yeah um yeah i'm gonna uh, next time we before we play next time i'm gonna look at some trailers and stuff for ashes of creation because that's keeps yeah, popping up I, if you want to try it I, i'm up for it like i'm i'm i i know where like what you're thinking like mmo wise and i'd be up for like getting into an mmo but it just has to be a fun mmo and I, I don't think any recent MMOs that have come out have been fun. No. I mean? and, and for me, it just has to be different. I think it's, it just has to be different than what's out there. because a lot of the, the standards been set by WoW. And I think when a lot of them set out to, to design an MMO now, they think we have to be able to make money like WoW did or else there's no point in doing this. So inevitably, they become these weird sort of like mechanically cloned wows that just aren't as good as wow you know? right like that one um what was that that space wow it wasn't by wow i forget the name of it i played it for a little bit then it went free space. to play it was like space wow um it wasn't by blizzard though ah, what's the name oh of it's um uh, what's the name of that one um it's gone it's done now though right? yeah it's, it went free to play um, and then died wild star wild star that's yeah. It. yeah i played a little bit of wild star not much but it was basically though. just a wow clone in space, as wow in space. Um, uh, one of the guys in Dadcraft, uh, Hume, Sherlock Humes. I don't yeah. know if you've ever yeah. seen him around. He used to be the uh, community manager for Wildstar. Oh, really? That was his, like, yeah, it's like his full time job was like community manager for. I thought they did a good Wildstar. job with their marketing and community stuff. Just the game was, wasn't really any different. Uh, the game was meant to be actually kind of good, but again, I think they added some stuff that that sort of ruined it. But I. I think for a while it was kind of like on the right track. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a weird one, isn't it, with games? I guess... I want to play something that's fun. And I, I feel like the stuff that's designed and put out isn't always designed to just be fun. Like, uh, you know, they, they just want... They want to make money first and foremost, right? Like, to keep the studio going, to, to you know, to turn profit, whatever. So, like, at the sake of fun, there's a lot of systems that are put in to just be, be you know, n noticeably addictive, right? Like, to, to keep you coming back. But, like, I don't mind those if they're, if they're fun, but I don't know. 